I am a walking circuit board. Hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet, I'm Fa Penguin on the Sea Penguin and welcome to another mod spotlight. In today's episode, we shall be looking at a mod called Modular Armor. Now, this should not be confused with Modular Power Suits as that is a completely different mod. They're made by different authors. Now, in this very simple, simple mod, you have armor, like so, modular, if you couldn't have guessed. Now, this armor is pretty damn awesome in the fact that it's modular, so you can add what you want. Now, uh, straight off, I will recommend you have a technical mod with this, like Thermal Expansion or Industrial Craft 2, something like that. It is compatible with many other mods, such as Baubles and, like I said, Thermal Expansion and other things. Uh, go to the wiki, which will be in the description, if you want any other information about it. But it's pretty awesome. Uh, there is a way to generate electricity with it. It's very simple, and I'll get into that in a minute. But uh, it doesn't work very well, so I definitely recommend getting a technical mod. So, shall we begin? So first you have the armor, which is, you know, the whole point of this mod. Now this armor is crafted in the same way all armor is crafted. As you can see, you know how to craft armor. Now, it uses tempered electrum. Now, normal electrum is from other mods, like Tinker's Construct, but to make tempered electrum, you need a ward bucket and heated electrum. Now, to make heated electrum, you just need to smelt a gold ingot. I assume if it has thermal expansion, it will detect uh, that electrum is already in the game, and you can use that. And plus, all dictionary works as well. So, you can craft all these armors. Now, what can you do with these armors? Well, you don't need any table or anything like that. All you got to do is just hold one of them in your hand, like so, and right-click. Now, this looks confusing. It's not very confusing at all. Okay, so up here, you've got your upgrades the upgrade removal, and the config, and the information. The information is just, this is where you use, this is where you upgrade all your stuff, and yeah. So to start, you want to go to upgrades, and you have this little crafting grid, no upgrade selected yet. So you got the, say, add, the, yeah. So you want to go into this button here, which shows you all the recipes of things to add. Got advanced model and a description. As you can see, this mod has a lot of stuff in it, like, a lot of awesome stuff. You can also search up here. So if I searched for invisibility, see, it comes up quite nicely. Make sure invisible. Recommend use prank friends. It's pretty awesome in some of the things it says. They're quite funny on occasion. So these are all the things you can select here, like so, which is uh, pretty awesome. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff here. So uh, let's get started to add a uh, an upgrade. All you got to do is put the crafting recipe here and then click that button there, and you would be pretty set. So I've got some uh, normal like kind of things you might want. So if we go here, and I add, say, uh, the, I don't know, let's go something like General Protector. It's just iron like that. As you can see, there's a little joke there. Uh, some of the better ones are things like uh, these. Or, you know, there's some really good ones, like a uh, lava protection. It has, that contains the red orb. Do not put that near Groudon. Pokemon joke. Yay. So, what we do is we do this like that. And we just click that button. Now it's added to the helmet, like so. And the, you can add it to the helmet, like that. So now you have a helmet. Uh, we've got armored helmet. So now if I assume, if I go into survival like that, do, 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 do. I assume it's got protection on it, but I'm not too sure. Maybe it needs uh, energy to do that, so I'll get the energy versions, which are uh, in here, if I know correctly. Uh, I want to go into creative, and then that. So these are the pre-energy ones that are filled, and these come with all the upgrades anyway. Uh, so if I put these on, like so. As you can see, this armor is different. That is because sorry this is because uh it has an upgrade uh called uh i think it's a better model or something like that where you uh, get a better model as you can see it or each piece of armor has every upgrade so this armor is uh, pretty awesome i guess it still doesn't have uh that what if i i don't know uh, if i'm in peaceful what if i did easy and i spawned i don't know spawn let's go let's get a silverfish uh, golem, snow golem, ghast, wolf, 
sheep. Ah, uh, silverfish, there we go. But I spawn a silverfish. It offers literally no protection. I assume the armor can be configed in the config thing uh, that I showed you a second ago, which is uh, pretty awesome. So if I'm gonna take this armor off. As you can see, it, it slowly was ticking down. So I put this armor back on like that. This is the normal one. And I can add lots and lots of things. You can add all of them if you want, if that's really what you wanna do. You can add like, all of them. So if I go back to, no, I didn't want that. If I did this, and let's say we've got that. If I wanted, say, I wanted to add the solar helmet, like that. So it's just three glass, coal, and iron. So if I do that, if I get the three glass, and I need a piece of coal, like so, and then I just put some iron there as well. There we go. Nice. Now, what you can also do is if you click on a, uh, if you go into here, and you click on this arrow here, it tells you what parts it's compatible with. So as you can see, the electrolyzer, helmet, you know, things like that. What do you want, Mr. Chicken? You're not allowed up there, and you know that. Get off. Good, Mr. Chicken. So, yeah, no, it should generate electricity. The only problem is, is that uh, it's very, very slow. As you can see, zero RF. And I'm right above the sun. I don't know how it's supposed to work. I assume it's, you know, a lot slower, but I'm not really sure how that works. But you get some awesome, other awesome ones like invisibility and lava protection and uh, magic protection. You've got V discount, thaumaturges, goggles, well, things like that. It's it's a pretty, pretty awesome mod, to be fair. Uh, if I get it work, if I could, you know, get it working with thermal expansion, then uh, if I had thermal expansion on here, then I'm sure it'd be a lot better. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty, pretty awesome mod. Now I'm gonna see if I can uh, mess around with this in some way, like uh, I did that and did that. This should, this one should have no modules on it, like that, but this one should. Uh, general protector, ah, oh, there we go. See, general protector, and then I can change the protection level. Like so, I assume the higher the protection level, the more the, what should I say, the, the uh, more energy it consumes. Now, this is a test. So it's a 100% uh, general protection. So now if I went into, say, oh, that's, if I went into creative, is that creative? Yeah, that's creative. If I went into creative and then did it from here, will it let me change it still? Upgrades, there we go. Oh yeah, it will, okay. So there we go. So that works, might just need to be refreshed sometimes. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. And yeah, that's about it for this mod. Uh, I might do a quick uh, run through of said upgrades. Because I forgot, oh yeah, to remove an upgrade, all you gotta do is, uh, all you gotta do is just go to the thing and just go upgrade. So if I wanted to remove the solar helmet, remove this upgrade, done, removed. And it gave me, I think it gave me back my items as well. So that's pretty cool as well. So we're just gonna have a quick look at uh, these. So we've got advanced model, which changes the model of it. You've got after protection, which protects you from spiders. You've got calf shields, which apparent I don't know. I think it's, I don't actually know what they do. Rocket packs are easy. The hard part is inventing the calf shields. I don't really know what that does. Electrolyzer gives you air underwater. Explosion protector, it uses TNT to protect you against explosions somehow. Long fall dampeners, which are like long fall boots, where you take no fall damage. Auto feeder, says it in the name, fire protection. General protector, which is like armor. Hardened energy, so that's like uh, your leadstone energy. Invisibility, jetpack, jump boost, lava protection, leadstone energy, magic protector, magnet, night vision, player protector, potion, projectile protection, reinforced energy, resonant energy, armor camouflage. Well, armor camouflage is so that you can see skins. Solar helmet, walking speed boost, step assist, Tom Maz's textures, unblockable protector, so it protects against unblockable things. So that's things like potions. Potions are unblockable. Um, what else is unblockable? Some mods add unblockable things like um, like rapier. I think rapier goes through armor from Tinker's Construct. Well, it does go through armor. This would probably protect you from it. Uh, undead protection, wither protection, 
and then back to advanced models. So it adds so much stuff, and I think it's definitely worth your time to check it out and add it to your world. Uh, modular power suits is also very similar to this, except it uh, is you know a little bit different in that it adds a bit more advanced stuff. It's both of them are pretty awesome, and I recommend you check out both because why not? This one especially because it's pretty awesome. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Mod Spotlights. If you enjoyed it, please do subscribe for more videos from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. When I think of the future, I think of the men and machines and friends and ideas and philosophy and spirit.